hello everybody today I'm gonna show you how to make this necklace I made this necklace because it's my daughter's uh, friends I think she's turning 14 and she likes to wear jewelry so I, I said let me go ahead and make a necklace for her um, so it's very easy pattern not hard at all and what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a clasp uh, somebody left me a, a comment on my uh, on one of my tutorials I believe it was up on the choker uh, she said that you can buy one of those clasps with a little chain that way you you know if your necklace is too small you can just uh, use that one and it will adjust your size um, Also, you're gonna need to have like I said a clasp uh, You also gonna use needle size 5 and cotton thread uh, number 10 and you're gonna need uh, 64 65 beads and Your thread already just like this and if you using a clasp that um, that doesn't open and close like this one, then you're gonna have that's the first thing you're gonna have to put in your thread, your clasp, one one side of your clasp. Um, so let's get started. Uh, you're gonna have to have a very long um, tail. I want to say about 50, 50 to 60 inches. It depends. Um, uh, well, you know what? It's going to be a long gone, a long one. And uh, let's see. A long tail. So I'm going to leave about 50 to 60 inches. I'm going to put my necklace to the side. And we're going to start with the ring of three double stitches. and one pico and three double stitches if you use if you put your clasp and your thread instead of the pico you'll put your clasp right there okay so this is gonna be our little pico where we put in our clasp in okay just like that we'll do that at the end or you can do that later and we're gonna have one bead and I did not put a lot of beads because she's young and you know and I don't know I just didn't want to have a lot of beads but if you would like to you can add three beads on each, you know on each chain or each ring I just added one uh, three double stitches and a pico and three double stitches okay very easy ring and we're gonna close our ring and like I said this is a very easy putter okay and reverse your work And let's do one chain of five double stitches. One B. Five double stitches. Finish the chain and reverse your work. Make a little knot and another ring. 
three double stitches join to the pico of our previous ring make sure your stitches are looking straight like this and join three double stitches one B three double stitches one pico three double stitches just like that and let's close our ring and this is the whole pattern of the um, of the necklace, very easy necklace. Reverse your work. And we're gonna do another chain. Five double stitches. one pico I mean I'm sorry one beat <laughs> one beat okay and five double stitches okay finish up your chain and reverse your work do a little knot and this is what we have so far very easy pattern now I'm gonna do one more ring with you so three double stitches And we're going to join, making sure our stitches are looking the right way. Join to the pico. Just like that. And three double stitches. One B. And three double stitches. Pico. And three double stitches. Close your ring. Reverse your work do a little knot and there we go and the size feet I use is sorry I forgot to say it 11-0 but if you want you can use bigger ones you know instead of a little one you can do a big one that will look nice too uh, so continue doing this until you have 15 rings and 15 chains and then I'll show you what to do next Be back in a minute. Well in a little bit. <laughs> okay, so I'm back. I did 15 rings and then I After my 15 ring I Did my chain right so I'm gonna go on to my 16 ring and this part is going to be a little different. If you don't want to do it like this, that's fine. You can just continue doing um, rings and chains. But for the middle, sorry, my cat just came by and <laughs> got hair on my hand. Um, okay, so I did the chain. I forgot to make the... No, I didn't. Okay, 
so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a ring like you normal like you do in another ring like the other ones you just did so three double stitches and then we're gonna join right and three double stitches and this is our 16 ring and three double stitches pico and three double stitches okay so I'm gonna close it there's my loop I'm gonna go in the loop and I'm gonna reverse my work I have a little gap right there there we go now instead of doing a chain I'm gonna do another ring so I'm just gonna put my needle on top of my ring and this one's gonna have four double stitches four double stitches one B let me see if I can sorry uh, let me lower my camera oops a little more there we go there we go uh, four double stitches a B Four double stitches and one more bead and four double stitches just like that okay so then we're going to close our ring under the loop. Did I do it wrong? Yep. Let me get out of here. I'm going to make a mess. If I don't fix it, there we go. Okay. So then now you have a ring on this side and a ring on this side. Okay, just like that. So you can hold it and make a little knot. Sorry. That right and then you're gonna reverse your work no you're not sorry <laughs> I'm sorry no you're not reversing your work uh, you're gonna do an, a chain so five double stitches one B Five double stitches. Okay. And finish up that chain. Just like that. Now reverse your work. Do a little knot and this is what you have so you have you're gonna have that in the middle let me pick it up so you're gonna have that in the middle of your necklace okay so that's your 16 ring now you're gonna continue doing chains and rings so you're gonna have you have you have fifteen 
15 rings and chains on this side of our double ring so you're gonna finish when you have 15 on this side too so I'm gonna make um, one more ring with you three double stitches join three double stitches one B three double stitches pico and three double stitches okay got it like this Close your ring. Okay, so when you harden it, this will stay down like that. Right? Just like that. So, reverse your work do a little knot and do another chain okay so continue until you have 15 more make 15 more rings in chain and I'll see you in a little bit okay so I finished my necklace so I have 15 rings and chains on the left and 15 rings and chains on the right okay so I went ahead and put just one side of the clasp so you should end up with the ring with the free pico on the side for you to add your other side of the clasp so at this point all you're gonna have to do is of course uh, weave in your ends and uh, you can starch it a little bit or just uh, use a combination of water and Elmer's glue but not a lot of glue uh, just a little bit so it's not so stiff unless you like it of course stiff uh, you know your necklace stiff but not nah, not that stiff okay so just um, weave in your ends and um, that's it so I hope you enjoyed this video I uh, haven't made a necklace in a while but I thought you might enjoy it so um, have fun uh, tatting and thank you for all my new subscribers and uh, thank you for watching and happy tatting